Phil Ratliff will tell you he's had a good life, all 91 years of it, but there was... Uh, it was bad. That one bad day. When he needed to find his birth certificate, the filing cabinet was in his parents' house. So that's where I had to look for the paper. A paper that changed everything. The wording was, and as if was born or something like that. So I'm old enough to realize that that was an adoption paper. So I did not realize that it was adopted until I say I was 21 years old. His parents were not his biological parents, a secret they'd kept to themselves. And Phil decided to be just like them and buried that secret too. I was, and you know, had lived a good life. They raised me good. So he didn't tell them until years later that he knew. So what, what could, would it do to me to bring it up about me being adopted? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. all these years later, his adult daughter. I always knew I, if I ever got a chance, I was going to find out. Decided it was a story that she had to know. I was like, well, just who am I? It's a, a complete void that was in my life. But no more. Because the paper trail they found led to Amarillo. This is the letter that they sent. And a Presbyterian orphanage. This is what was really cool. While another search took them to Moody, Texas, south of Waco. I got a call from his daughter. And a retired college professor named Paul Holder. So it wasn't talked about much? No, no, the family did not talk about it. And I don't think anyone in the family knew. Knew the story of a woman named Sarah Marie McCamey. She was 18 years old, single, and pregnant. So her parents in 1928 sent her to Amarillo to live with an older sister, have the baby, give it away, then come back home so that no one in Moody, Texas would have to know. Baby McCamey was adopted by the farmers who became Phil Ratliff's parents. Sarah Marie McCamey died two weeks later, complications of childbirth though the Moody, Texas obituary that said she was stricken ill with fever made no mention of a baby boy. This is the burial marker for my aunt, Sarah Marie McCamey. She is buried at the Moody Cemetery, her secret until now buried with her. God bless, I'm uh, such a young age and uh, uh, it's just one of those things that happens in this world. Months ago, Phil Ratliff made the emotional journey to visit his mother's grave for the first time, and his new family gave him the last photo taken of his mother. I just couldn't handle it. He wept <laughs> when he saw her face for the very first time. I mean, I was so overjoyed that I could actually place my mom's picture in my hands. A picture he now keeps on his bedroom dresser. And I couldn't help it. I just. I lost it, because <laughs> this is my mother. A mom who had the same drooping left eye that he does. That's the one feature that I've pointed out to everybody. A mom he now talks to every morning. Yeah, we have a little talk. I call her mama. <laughs> so after 90 plus years, Phil Ratliff found out who he really is, believes he might know who his father was too. But with one picture, has found as much of a happy ending as he could. Fortunate to pick up uh, another cousin this late in life. And found cousins wanting to honor his mother's memory too. So she has proved a blessing even in death for me. But a blessing most of all to a 91-year-old man who can finally see his mother's face. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't tell you how glad I am. Then again, the tear in his left eye just did in Moody, Texas. I'm Kevin Reese.